Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is Saturday, June 25th, and I'm here for Whip Weekend 12. So I've been loving doing this. It's keeping me on the ball, but life gets in the way sometimes. Sometimes I just want to stay home and crochet, and I can't. I can't. But I did do some things, and I've started a few new projects. I am still working behind the scenes on all my ornaments for Christmas in July. And can you believe a week? It's July. So I'm uh, trying to get those ready too. So to start off our whip weekend, I am going to uh, show you what I've been working on. And uh, this is it. I have been making squares. Uh, like I told you, my uh, one of my best girlfriends is going to be a grandmother, so I thought I'd start and get uh, going on a baby blanket. So the squares I'm doing are these. So I've got 15 or 16 of these squares, and then I'm going to pair it with just the white. So I'll do one color and one white. I've got most of my ends sewn in, but not all. The color, there we go. So it's a lovely pastel colors I'm using. I'm using all the Craftsmart from uh, Michaels. So that's yellow and that's a variegated. And then this is actually from my Tangled yarn the row of purple and it's a nice pastel purple. She is having a little girl, but I wanted to, to do mute, muted colors. So that's what I'm going with. And I will probably um, join these with the zigzag join. So I'll have a purple and then I'll do a purple border, um, a row of single purple, and then I'll do a fan stitch on the edge. So I'm really pleased how many I've done of these. I'm almost ready. I've probably got another 10 to go and um, then I'll be able to join that. So I've been working on that and um, my top, I have a problem. I have ripped this out four or five times this week. I'm so disappointed. It is just, it's on my mannequin and I've named my mannequin Mandy. It's just too big and I can't seem to get it down. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I may have to come up, but I don't know how. I'll have to watch some videos. I don't know how to incorporate the sleeve if I make it shorter or if I just have to go all the way back and um, not increase as many stitches. If anybody can let me know of a great tutorial or um, how many stitches I should be doing. I am an extra large, but this is probably a 3x. It's just not working for me. So I'll be ripping that out completely. I am so disappointed. I really wanted to get this done for summertime, but I don't think it's going to happen. I love the colors together, the lime green and the blue, but it's going to get ripped out again. Frog, frog, frog. This poor yarn has been frogged. I'm going to say 10 times at least. So it's going to get frogged one more time and I'm going to put it on the back burner. I know I wanted to get it done before the end of summer, but it's just not working. I'm going to concentrate on my baby blankets and I found out another friend of mine through baseball, her daughter is having a, uh, a baby in September. So I'll be making another baby blanket for her also. So that's what I've been working on. I have been doing my paint by numbers every morning and um this is the one i'm working on now so i've got a lot of the bottom to do still and these these paint by numbers usually take me two or three weeks to do so and i do that every morning while my husband's still in bed asleep and um, i watch my videos and do my paint by numbers i also do diamond painting and I've been working on one for my Christmas in July. And as you can see, I hope you can see the sparkle. I'm probably a third done. So I'm really liking this. It's so cute. So that's what I've been working on in my in the mornings. And um, 
couple of people have asked me what I do with my paintings when I'm done. Some of them I've put in my yarn room. And what I do is I just staple them to the Michaels frames that uh, you can get uh, just canvas, white canvas on a frame. So I do that. And I also um, hang them outside. I'll spray it with a lacquer and they last about three years. So the ones I've got up in my yard right now, they're on their third year. So after that, they'll just be thrown out because you do get a little bit of mold and mildew and dirt and it just... You know, the hot sun, it has been so hot here in uh, Southern Ontario. So hot. A couple days, I just didn't want to go outside. And I've been working a lot in the garden. So that's taken away from my uh, crocheting. But I love spending my summers outside. So I'm hoping now that I have planted the new shrubs and the new hostas that um, I just have to water every morning. And that way I'll be able to go sit outside in my um, my backyard covered porch. So I'm looking forward to that. So most of the gardening's done. Now it's just maintenance. So that will help me in the mornings and I'll get more time to crochet. I've been uh, retired for a year and COVID restrictions in Canada were um, a lot more stringent than they were in the U.S. So um, I'm finally getting to enjoy retirement. I went out to lunch with the girls on Monday and uh, we're already planning to go to the movies. We want to all go see that Elvis movie. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, I've started golfing. I'm not good. Not at all. But um, I'm getting outside and I'm doing what I always planned to do when I retired. So that's exciting for me. Let me see. What else am I working on? I am also attempting to knit. So I am now started. Not much. I'm still working on the ribbing. I've started a cowl. So it's 110 stitches around so it's really jammed up on the needles here but uh, this will be just a cowl to go with uh, the hat I made and I did finish the hat I believe it's in, in my bag here too yes so I finally finished the hat and the colors are spectacular I've never used this yarn before. It's very difficult to knit with. I'm sure crocheting it will be much easier. And it is the Lion Brand Landscape. And the color of this is Skyline. So those are the colors there. And that's the hat. So I do have a ball. And uh, I would say a third to do the cow. So it'll be a nice uh thick cowl probably about uh, 10 inches tall so it can just kind of all scrunch up on the neck so one finished item and another one started so I'm happy with that knitting goes very very slow for me I'm a thrower I cannot seem to get the continental style where you hold it like a crochet in your left hand I have to whip it over so but I like it and um this is going to be my own pattern. So I'm going to do about an inch and a half of the ribbing and then go to the straight knit and then finish with an inch and a half of ribbing. So that's what I've been working on. I have not touched my uh, gray and yellow blanket. I'm trying to get the baby blankets done. Time constraints. So um, I haven't made any more lap gans for uh, my uh, senior center. And, um, but I'm, I'm doing really well. I had, uh, planned to make 12, but I've upped that to 20. And I think by the end of the year, I will be at 20. So I'm really happy about that. And, um, it's really appreciated there. So, and they will be handed over in December and, uh, they hand them out as Christmas gifts. There's a lot of, uh, elderly people there that don't have family. So there's no gifts for them. So do my little part and help them get uh, Christmas gifts to some of the seniors. And I keep saying senior center. I'm a senior now. I'm 61. So I'm talking about seniors that are have problems with mobility and they are in their home and always in a wheelchair. So 
Um, it's nice. They've opened it up so we can go visit them again. And it's nice to go and sit and chat and just, you know, spend an hour there. It um, makes everybody feel good. I feel good. They feel good. So I love doing it for our seniors because you never know. One day I may be there. So that's it for my um, works in progress. I'm just checking here. Yep, I am working. I'm not sure if I said it or not. I'm a little uh, slow this morning. I am working behind the scenes on my Christmas in July project. Um, I've been searching for um, patterns and a lot of the patterns are the same. So we're having problems. And I also saw a video um, uh, from the crochet crowd that they're doing a advent calendar. So I will probably be doing an advent calendar for Paige and for Keegan. So that's two big projects that I'll be starting. Oh, probably after Christmas in July. So in August, I'll probably start those. So they'll both have an advent calendar for uh, Christmas. And it's really cute because there's little uh, amigurumis that go in the advent. And my husband and I decided that we'll put um, a loonie. If you don't know what a loonie is, it's a dollar coin in Canada. We'll put a loonie in each one so the kids will get uh, a loonie every day for their advent calendars. Um, and my finished items, I have three very tiny finished items. I uh, had mentioned that I got a new book. And um, Paige had picked out a cupcake that she wanted so she could do it. Uh, play with her dolls for it but it turned out larger than I thought. So this is the um, cupcake that I made. It's really cute. I love the patterns. They're so easy uh, to follow and there's um, pictures for directions on how to do it. So that's the cupcake that I made. And um, as we were flipping through a page and I, she goes, oh, look at the macaroon cookies. And I was shocked that she knew what a macaroon cookie was. So I decided to make her two macaroon cookies. One is in very, very pale yellow. And then it's got the uh, cream. And this one is in pale pink. And um, I used a four and a half millimeter crochet hook here and I used a 3.25 this one so the different sizes so she can use this one for her dolly so those I thought turned out really cute I'm really enjoying that little book and uh, I will see her on Tuesday so she'll get her uh, cupcakes and macaroons and uh, she'll pick something else out so I'm hoping I have time I want to really get uh, more of the uh, Christmas in July ornaments done. I've probably halfway through it now. Now, sorry. So I do have time, but um, finding uh, patterns are quite not difficult, but time consuming. I like to read the patterns through, make sure I can follow it, make sure that, you know, the uh, pattern is correct. I've just learned how to read patterns. So um, it's um, getting me into reading patterns and understanding them more fully. So it's a learning process for me and I believe it's working because I can follow most of the patterns that I've seen so far. So I'm really liking that. And um, that's it for this weekend. I will insert uh, some of my pictures that I um, painted and they are hanging up in my uh, yard outside. So I'll do that because I know a couple people had asked to see them. So I will put those up. Um, I'll try and fit them in while I'm talking to the, about them, but I'm not sure if I can edit it properly. If not, they'll be at the end of the video. So I hope everybody's doing well. We have another family barbecue today. So I will be busy all day today, so no crocheting. And tomorrow, um, I think my husband and I are going to go hit some golf balls. So I'm looking forward to that. He's not retired yet. So um, we have to do what we can do on the weekends. I know he would love to be retired, but it's just not financially feasible right now. But that's okay. I like being at home by myself. That way I can do my crafts and um, just enjoy myself. So I'm hoping that everyone is doing well. Um, and if anybody can get me a pattern or show me a pattern that... Um, starts at the top. I really like the way it falls down. 
to help me with my top because I'm just so disappointed and I really, really want to get it done. So if you have any suggestions, that would be great. I'll take those. Anything will help because right now I'm tired of frogging my top <laughs> and I really would love to get it done. And um, let's hope that uh, I'll get it done before summer or maybe I'll be wearing it in the fall. Who knows? <laughs> So thank you very much for joining me today and um, I will see you next week. Bye for now.